Proverbs 21. The king's heart is like a stream of water directed by the Lord. He guides it wherever he pleases. People may be right in their own eyes, but the Lord examines their heart. The Lord is more pleased when we do what is right and just than when we offer him sacrifices. Haughty eyes, a proud heart, and evil actions are all sin. Good planning and hard work lead to prosperity, but hasty shortcuts lead to poverty. Wealth created by a lying tongue is a vanishing mist and a deadly trap. The violence of the wicked sweeps them away because they refuse to do what is just. The guilty walk a crooked path. The innocent travel a straight road. It is better to live alone in the corner of an attic than with a quarrelsome wife in a lovely home. Evil people desire evil. Their neighbors get no mercy from them. If you punish a mocker, the simple-minded become wise. If you instruct the wise, they will be all the wiser. The righteous one knows what is going on in the homes of the wicked. He will bring disaster on them. Those who shut their ears to the cries of the poor will be ignored in their own time of need. A secret gift claims calms anger. A bribe under the table pacifies fury. Justice is a joy to the godly, but it terrifies evil doers. The person who stays from common sense, strays from common sense, will end up in the company of the dead. Those who love pleasure become poor. Those who love wine and luxury will never be rich. The wicked are punished in place of the godly and traitors in place of the honest. It's better to live alone in the desert than with a quarrelsome, complaining wife. The wise have wealth and luxury, but fools spend whatever they get. Whoever pursues righteousness and unfailing love will find life, righteousness, and honor. The wise conquer the city of the strong and level the fortress in which they trust. Watch your tongue and keep your mouth shut, and you will stay out of trouble. Mockers are proud and haughty. They act with boundless arrogance. Despite their desires, the lazy will come to ruin, for their hands refuse to work. Some people are always greedy for more, but the godly love to give. The sacrifice of an evil person is detestable, especially when it is offered with wrong motives. A false witness will be cut off, but a credible witness will be allowed to speak. The wicked bluff their way through, but the virtuous think before they act. No human wisdom or understanding or plan can stand against the Lord. The horse is prepared for the day of battle, but the victory belongs to the Lord. Chapter 22 of Proverbs. So Proverbs 22. Choose a good reputation over great riches. Being held in high esteem is better than silver or gold. The rich and poor have this in common. The Lord made them both. A prudent person foresees danger and takes precautions. The simpleton goes blindly on and suffers the consequences. True humility and fear of the Lord lead to riches, honor, and a long life. Corrupt people walk a thorny, treacherous road. Whoever values life will avoid it. Direct your children onto the right path, and when they are older, they will not leave it. Just as the rich rule the poor, so the borrower is servant to the lender. So many of these sayings we say all the time, and people don't realize how much of everyday wisdom and clever sayings come from the Bible. Those who plant injustice will harvest disaster, and their reign of terror will come to an end. Blessed are those who are generous because they feed the poor. Throw out the mocker and fighting goes too. Quarrels and insults will disappear. Whoever loves a pure heart and gracious speech will have the king as a friend. The Lord preserves those with knowledge, but he ruins the plans of the treacherous. The lazy person claims there's a lion out there. If I go outside, I might be killed. The mouth of an immoral woman is a dangerous trap. Those who make the Lord angry will fall into it. A youngster's heart is filled with foolishness, but physical discipline will drive it far away. A person who gets ahead by oppressing the poor or by showering gifts on the rich will end in poverty. Sayings of the Wise Listen to the words of the wise. Apply your heart to my instruction, for it is good to keep these sayings in your heart and always ready on your lips. I'm teaching you today, yes you, so you will trust in the Lord. I have written 30 sayings for you, filled with advice and knowledge. In this way, you may know the truth and take an accurate report to those who sent you. Don't rob the poor just because you can or exploit the needy in court. 
For the Lord is their defender. He will ruin anyone who ruins them. Don't befriend angry people or associate with hot-tempered people, for, or you will learn to be like them and endanger your soul. Don't agree to guarantee another person's debt or put up security for someone else. If you can't pay it, even your bed will be snatched from under you. Don't cheat your neighbor by moving the ancient boundary markers set up by previous generations. Don't you see any truly competent workers? They will serve kings rather than working for ordinary people. Hmm. Fascinating words of wisdom by, I believe, Solomon. I know that Solomon wrote most of the Proverbs. He wrote far more Proverbs than are in this book. They were believed to be collected by, I want to say Hezekiah, but I'm not 100% sure on that. So they were actually collected many years after they were written and put into this format. Um, but I think they're absolutely wonderful and beautiful. I love the Bible so much. There's so much wisdom in here cover to cover. I so deeply and profoundly believe in the words that are in these pages and they have blessed my life so much. And I hope they bless yours too. I can't find my remote. We'll see you soon. Have a blessed day. And thank you so much for reading the Bible with me. Bye-bye.